Color is much more than a particular shade of hue. Like numbers, each color has its own vibration. Scientific studies have shown that some colors actually have an effect on our nervous system. For example, the color red stimulates hunger, while the color blue shows light it slows it down. It is no wonder that the advertising and entertainment industries employ colors to create certain moods and elicit desired reactions from viewers. Just as your personal numbers can give you insight into your true self, certain colors can help you attract positive vibrations in your surroundings. But choosing a color that has a numerical vibration that is compatible with your personal numbers, you can intensify the positive energy you have begun to build around yourself using these numbers. Let's find some of these colors. Red is sophisticated, unique, daring, and fashionable. Orange, smart, chic, matching, and coordinated. Yellow, relaxed, casual, and light. Green, practical, neat, and orderly. Blue, sensual, unusual, and sexy. Indigo, modern, soft. Violet is sharp and natural. Crimson and purple are businesslike, expensive, and smart. White and pink. Youthful, unconventional, and flamboyant. By dressing in the cell that corresponds to your appropriate personal number for the specific situation, you can amplify the positive vibrations surrounding you and increase your personal power. If your main color was one, you should wear red. If two, orange. 3. Yellow 4. Green 5. Blue 6. Indigo 7. Violet 8. Crimson or Purple and 9. White or Pink Now let's look about relationships and compatible partners. But now it should come as no surprise that sometimes numerology is used for relationships. Each of the nine primary numbers is also affiliated with the specific personal qualities. So when looking for true love, a strong friendship or any kind of mutually beneficial relationship, it can help you to know whether your number is compatible with that of your potential partner or friend. In order for your friend or partner to uh, be compatible with you, they don't really need to share the same number. Normally, opposites attract. As we look at the person's character traits in relationships, however, we'll let you know that certain numbers are particularly compatible more than others in the romantic sphere. For example, Compatible in love, please put attention. Ones and fours are compatible in love. So are two and fives, three and six, four and sevens, five and eights, six and nines, seven and ones, eight and twos, and nine and threes. And how about in business? In business, normally ones are compatible with sixes, two with sevens, three with eights, four with nines, five in ones, six and twos, seven and threes, eight and fours, and nine and fives. Now, what are the relationship traits and careers of these numbers? We already talk about number one. A person that is strong, independent, and active should be an associated career that has to do with design, inventing, teaching, writing, and project management. If you have number two, you're kind, gentle, supportive, and loving. 
your associated career should be in nursing, any area of hospitality and art therapy, accounting and collecting. How about number three? You are controlling, energetic, independent. You are the teacher. These number threes associated careers are entrepreneur, business, sales, communicating, and anything to do with the arts. Number four are enduring, reliable, trustworthy, and unconventional. You should be in mathematics, science, architecture, engineering, anything to do with buildings, electricity, computers, or technology. You're the number five. That means you're pleasure-loving, indulgent, fun, and easygoing. You should be in public relations, advertising, acting, journalism, management, and anything to do with science, research, or entertainment in a managerial position. Sixes are caring, articulate, and enduring. They should be in fashion, theater, charity work, beautician, modeling, music, hairdressing, and anything to do with caring for others. What about number sevens? Number sevens are intuitive, romantic, sympathetic, and thoughtful. This should be healing, therapy, counseling, clairvoyance, astrology, music, and anything to do with self-employed and running its own business. Number eights are intense, passionate, impetuous, and enthusiastic. So this should be in professions such as the military, law, business, financial sector, politics, engineering, and banking. And finally, number nines. Number nines are dynamic, sophisticated, flamboyant, and liberal. This should be into music, hypnotism, exploration, travel, healing, writing, and clairvoyance. Well, let's talk a little bit about astrology, because a lot of people... Um, join together both of them numerology and astrology and definitely we can do astral or natal charts by using numbers astrology and numerology are similar systems and they're both used as tools to uncover the mysteries of life remember that both systems are right now in modern science uh, calls them pseudosciences or fake sciences both systems are also highly intricate and both are based on mathematical truths that reveal the deeper universal order. The primary belief that lies at the heart of astrology is that everything from all living beings to the planets and stars is interconnected within a spiritual energetic relationship. So every planet has a symbol and a number. The planets symbolize the universal characteristics of human beings possess. Marx, for example, symbolizes the warrior. The signs in astrology are named after corresponding star constellations and act as descriptions on how the planetary characters express their energies. For example, the astrological sign of Aries is linked to the planet Mars. This is associated with independence and risk-taking. So, if you know your astrological sign, then you can look up its associated number to gain a greater understanding of your nature. Let's find out the numbers of some of the planets and symbols and the astrological sign. Number one corresponds to the sun and Leo. Number two corresponds to the moon and Cancer. Number three corresponds to the planet Jupiter and Sagittarius. Number four corresponds to the planet Uranus and Aquarius. Number five corresponds to the planet Mercury, Gemini and Virgo. Number six is associated with the planet Venus. And the astrological sign and symbols are Taurus and Libra. Number seven is associated with Neptune and Pisces. Number eight is associated with Saturn and Capricorn. And number nine is associated with Mars in Aries and Scorpio.
Ancient numerology was less concerned with character analysis than with divination. One of the more popular means of divination, however, was the tables of fate. Number shapes, these were used to foretell the outcome of future events and give divinatory advice or advice. There are different tables, each one's corresponding to the Earth and different planets. And people used to use these tables, which will be printed on a thin slipper of bone or leather, to know, ask a question, spin a car, and then when the car will stop spinning, you can put a finger firmly in it and answer the question based on the number your finger had landed upon. Before you ask any questions, however, you always refer first to the table of the earth, or tablet of earth. This was the basic tablet that tells you whether it was good time to ask a question and whether you should be asking at all. These are extremely impressive and sometimes might be accurate. The tablet of the moon has things such as leave things as they are or listen to your inner voice or change nothing or be more trusting or change a question or be patient. The table of Venus may have things such as lasting love, disagreements, be hasty, blame yourself, etc. And the tablet of the earth kind of reminds me of what an able would look like has answers such as yes and no, try tomorrow, think carefully, simplify your question, act quickly, change your question, or so on. I hope that you have enjoyed this course so far. Remember to use some of the resources that I'm going to publish on the site. Download them so you know when you go through finding your personal numbers, what kind of personality career, partner, or year you're going to have. Thank you so much for your support. Please, as always, after you finish, you know that you will be receiving a certificate for Udemy. Finish all the videos. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at any time. Thank you so much for your support.